The Republican Party has taken over the majority in the Minnesota Senate, and joining me now in the studio to talk about his district is Senator-elect Mark Johnson of East Grand Forks. Welcome. Well, thank you, Shannon. You have, I think, the farthest commute of anyone who represents the state of Minnesota. What do you want those of us who live here in the Twin Cities to know about where you come from? Sure. No, it's it's a nice commute. You can get a lot of telephone calls in during that time, but it's about a five-hour drive from mm -hmm. uh, here up to East Grand Forks. Uh, it's a it's a great part of the state. You know, we just got done with harvest up there, so there's a lot of excitement in the air. It, it's an area of a lot of small business, uh, a lot of small farms, family-oriented. Uh, it's a great place to a great place to live. There's there's a lot of excitement right now. It's deer hunting too, so mm -hmm. people are out in the field uh, chasing the big one. Um, but it, it you know I really uh, I lived down in Rochester for a while. Really missed it and and ended up back up there and and just love it. Just love that area. So yeah, great place okay. to be. Um, so as you were campaigning for this seat, mm -hmm. you were out knocking on doors. What did what kinds of messages did you hear from the voters? I think I think there are a couple things that that I really heard a lot about. Um, first of all, and I think everybody this this isn't just rural Minnesota. This is metro. This is this is throughout Minnesota. But healthcare, mm -hmm. healthcare is scaring people, mm -hmm. um, and I think that's a real signal to the limitations of what effective government can do. And people are the election we saw people kind of pull back um, as to the responsibility that government would have in their life. And that we really saw that in rural Minnesota. So that was n number one. Uh, number two, um, you know, like I said, we are a community of small business mm -hmm. and small farms. Mm -hmm. um, so when we're talking about being fourth highest in the nation for business and personal taxes as a state, that really hurts our area. A lot of people uh, in my community spend a lot of money, a lot of their money on, on taxes because, you know, farmers, they, they own a lot of land, but that's not an asset that, that you might just trade in. That's something you're passing down from generation to generation. So when we're taxing farmers, when we're taxing businesses, that's their legacy that, that uh, the state government is reaching in and taking away. But, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep going. <laughs> uh, you're a small business owner. Correct. What are some really, I mean, you're talking about tax relief as being one issue. Yeah. Are there other issues that are important for those small, rural, outstate, small businesses, small farmers that, that you, that point of view that you want to bring to the capital? Sure. That's, that's exactly uh, what I'd like to do going forward is we don't, we, I don't encourage um, subsidies or support or, or things like that for business. I think we got to have an environment where businesses can thrive. If it's a good product, a good service, that's what I'd like to see. And, and that's what I hope that we can do down here, is not pick winners and losers, but to really support businesses that are providing a service that people, people would like, a product mm -hmm. people would like. Mm -hmm. And so we don't need, we don't need to be um, giving out all sorts of incentives to businesses, but just let them do the things that, they, that, that we're demanding from business. Um, mm -hmm. And that's gonna be pretty important going forward. You are replacing a legendary senator, yeah. Senator Leroy Stumpf. Um, he's well respected on both sides of the aisle for his ability to work with yeah. others. Do you know Senator Stumpf? In, uh, I've met Senator Stumpf uh, one time. Okay. And so most of, of my knowledge of, of Leroy is through the people that have worked with him. Okay. And even in the Republican caucus, there's great respect uh, for that man. Um, he mm -hmm. is. He's a legend, and it's a big responsibility, uh, big big shoes to fill. And I think the key to his success, why people like Leroy so well, even in Republican Northwest Minnesota, is that he, he listened to everybody. He was a very friendly guy. He built on relationships, and that was important. Mm -hmm. People respect that. And Do you think your constituents are hoping that you will continue that tradition? Oh, I think so. I would yeah. think so. You know, the um, NPR did a, a piece on our race up up, up north, mm -hmm. and it was uh, one of the most civil races in Minnesota. And I think that's that really speaks of the people up there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's Minnesota nice. You know, maybe they're going to vote for you, maybe they're not, but they're going to have a conversation mm -hmm. with you. And we just enjoy that. We enjoy that so much. So as representing that area, um, I would I would definitely like to move that tradition forward. 
So there was a lot of talk this election season about the rural-urban divide and, Minis sure. and the idea that Minnesota is two different states. What is your view of Minnesota? That's an excellent question. I, coming from Northwest Minnesota, I mean, five hours away from the capital, mm -hmm. uh, that's definitely a feeling that we, that we have. Um, a feeling that we're not being understood up in Northwest Minnesota. Uh, and, it, and there is a, a degree of that because I mean, the, the interest, the, just the daily living is so different when you get down close to a metro area uh, as opposed to a rural area. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one thing. I don't want to build upon that distinction, mm -hmm. but at the same time, I do want to come down and, and say, you know, hey, here are some very important things to rural constituents. And, you know, if we're talking roads and bridges, that, that's, a, that's a big issue in, mm -hmm. in my neck of the woods. Uh, we're talking about tax policy because we're right next to North Dakota, which is a very business friendly uh, state. So I've seen businesses jump across uh, from East Grand Forks where I live over to Grand Forks on the other side of the river. Um, so there are a number of issues that, that only rural areas might face um, that may get forgotten. So I want to make sure that that's something that that people are reminded of uh, the legislature. And so some of these things that you're talking about, are these things that drew you to run for this seat? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. When, when there was, early in the year, when, when we saw the, who was running for the endorsement in the Republican Party, mm -hmm. I felt like I had a perspective that maybe the other contestants didn't. Um, small business, uh, I, I'm an attorney, both my wife and I are attorneys. Okay. So, it, not the, but it gives you a different perspective. Um, you know, I, I go and pour concrete during the summertime, and then I practice law in the wintertime. Um, so, and now you're going to practice legislation uh, also. Well, that's, that's <laughs> the idea here. Yes, yes. So we're, we're looking forward to that. And, and I felt like I could give a voice to represent the, the area very well, just because it is made up of small business people, of, of farmers. And, mm -hmm. and I kind of understand that, that aspect of our area. And quickly before we go, what do you want the Democrats and the minority to know about you? Well, I'm, I'm really looking forward to working uh, in the majority. Um, but I understand that, that when you are in the minority, you're in a tough position. Mm -hmm. And I look forward to working with them. I really do. I, I think this is going to be a wonderful session. Um, and I know there's going to be some adjustments and changes, mm -hmm. and they've got new faces over on that side too. And I'm really looking forward to working uh, through Minnesota's issues with them. Senator-elect, congratulations on your win, and I look forward to seeing what you do this session. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.